morning nomads and future nomads. I'm in a pretty good mood today, considering I, I sold a bunch of stickers already this morning, so that's why I'm I'm, I'm cutting up the remaining 50 stickers that I have to uh, ship out because they look cooler when they're cut out like this. So everybody who's ordering one, getting a personalized, hand cut sticker. Thank you for ordering them, but um, I still have lots and lots left. Not nearly as many orders as I hoped. But, gotta move on. Gotta get the transmission and then just hope. Ba-ding! Jax, I'm going to have to whip out your uh, Christmas outfit from last year. The one that you, you hated. Yeah, we're going to have to find that. Put it on you again. Hey, dude. What's this? What's this? You remember this from last year? I want to try to put this on you because we have to take a picture. We have to take our Christmas picture for all the people who are helping with the transmission. So <laughs> it has to go on you. <laughs> I'm going to get bitten, huh? Can we try? No, you don't want to, but I but I want to. Hey, don't you want it? Hey, I want to put it on your head. Smell it. Make sure it's okay. It's okay. See, smell it. Good boy. We fix it. Hang on. Oh wait, that looks really good on you, dude. I like that look. That looks great. <laughs> now, can we take pictures? Should we go outside to take our Christmas pictures or something? I really like that look, Jax. That's really cute. <laughs> what do you guys think? I'd say he puts up with it. I think we need to go find a palm tree to stand under. People are going to think we're crazy, though. They already knew that, huh? Yeah, I got a little uh, mess to clean up in here. I was trimming my beard here, and I threw this into the drawer smashed and landed on my little mirror. Dang it! Breaking a mirror is bad luck. What, what is that saying? Seven years of bad luck if you break a mirror? I don't need that right now. Could be worse. Could have broke a condom instead and then have 18 years of bad luck. Dang it! You know, I'll be honest with you guys, for the first time in a long, 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 long time, I don't really like being alone right now. <laughs> everything's just kind of slowed down to a creep. It just seems like everything's quiet all around me. And I mean, I've got my cat buddy, but I mean, still, I, I'm not really happy being alone right now. Man, it'd be easier to go through this with someone else. Help me give motivation and stuff, but... Hey, we all go through this kind of stuff. No biggie. I guess the main point I might want to try to get it, get across to everybody here around the holidays is that you know living in an RV is, is no walk in the park. There's always going to be something going on on your mind. Always going to be something to fix. And these kind of breakdowns, engine and transmission type stuff, is going to happen when you're not ready for it. So... I hope I never painted a picture that it's all awesome and we're saving so much money on the road and all that. I'm I'm doing this because I, I love to be nomadic and I love to travel and see new stuff, point blank. I actually don't see the point in throwing away $800 a month in rent because you get no investment out of it. So, you know, fixing a transmission, you know, no matter how much it costs or whatever we're fixing in this RV, it's going into this RV that I own flat out. It's my home, so I'm maintaining my home. But, but just remember, you know, I'm, I've, this kind of stuff will happen to people in an RV. Thank you so much to everyone for helping uh, buy stickers and photographs so I can finance the RV. There were a lot of comments that I had to go through. And I didn't even want to read them, but I had to get to the good stuff. And unfortunately, just like we expected, there was a lot of hateful, ignorant people out there calling me names and saying I'm begging for money and all this. I was like, man, you just can't get through to some people. But I will say this, you know, 
my, my videos are always going to continue to be free. So if you can't handle the bad times that come around in my life live on the road, if you can't handle that, just take a week off and come back when life is better for me, I guess. You know, you don't have to sit here and watch every single video of, of my problems and then comment your hate, you know. Just simply go away. Just take your stuff and go away. Uh, we'll find a way to move on and fix everything and then you can come back. <laughs> I mean, me personally, I, I feel like if if you can't be here with me during the bad times, then you really don't deserve to be with me when life is awesome during the good times. I mean, makes sense, right? I certainly don't don't need the hateful comments, so if you're gonna leave, don't come back, pretty much. But, but if you're hanging with me through all this, thank you guys. As I pointed out, I sold some stickers, those are still available. The link will be below in the video, so. And also, about the comments and threads that, oh, Eric's making this up, this transmission thing up. He's making it up completely just to get money. I'm not just saying it because it was one person, obviously, guys. I'm addressing, like, almost a hundred people that are just incredibly creeping me out here. Eric, if the transmission's really out, then prove it. Show it to us. Film it. Show us everything that's going on. And it's like, are we back there again? As it turns out, um, I, I do have some updates <laughs> that you might be interested in. For one, um... I think I'm gonna sell all of my stickers, so I've gone ahead and given the thumbs up on the used transmission at the shop. So he ordered that today at like 10 a.m. Said he's gonna get it before the close of today. Wants me to come by tomorrow morning at 7:45 and drop the RV off. So Jax is gonna stay inside, and I really don't know what I'm gonna do in this town except uh, film the process of the of the transmission coming out and find out what was wrong with it and put the new one in it might not go in tomorrow but you know well, I'll film it because I'm apparently making this all up and I don't really need a transmission and my RV runs just fine and I just want money forget the fact that I already said I'm paying for it myself <laughs> I'm paying for it I just won't have any gas money after this after I do it but whatever people are starting to be really weird on YouTube and I don't need it right now you know what I need is people to say, hang in there, Eric, you know, things go bad, you fix them, you get back on the road because Olga's worth it. She's she's your home. You and Jax's home. So you keep your head up, Eric, and you'll, you will find a way to get through this and everything will be fine and we'll be with you this whole time. Rather than people calling me names and a liar and all this stuff, it's just, it's unfortunate. You put yourself out there and that's what you get. But I want you guys to know that when I'm not filming and addressing this kind of stuff, I'm, I'm, trying to just make it day to day so that's that's my only goal right now at least the weather's nice right it's been sunny I haven't seen any rain since the transmission went out it's just been sunny nice solar's unlimited batteries are maintaining perfectly so that's cool okay. well. all right back at cutting stickers for the rest of the day Good thing. Thanks again for your support, everybody. We're going to try to get this transmission put in tomorrow, and I'm going to keep you guys updated real time until we get back on the road or I have an update for you. So thank you. Love you all. We will see you tomorrow. Hey guys, Jax here, along with his human servant, Eric. Thanks for watching our RV channel. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up below. Uh, don't forget to watch all of our other videos. we got some great material out there. Subscribe to our channel so you can get the latest updates here on the road. Can you say hi? Talk to you guys later. <laughs>